All right, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? It's about uh, 721 in the morning. I just came back down to this side of the Las Vegas Strip. I was down that way. I was gonna do DoorDash down there this morning. It was a nightmare, there's no way. Um, you know, like if you gotta be in a traffic lane, you're just, you know, you're not getting anywhere fast on the strip today they got a lot of things closed off and blocked off and it's a nightmare so i'm gonna have to go somewhere else but i wanted to chill out here for a minute get my bearings tell you about the delivery scooter 2.0 and everything i'm using for delivery now i'm just starting up again i took a couple months off uh i really kind of burned out on uh doordash um but uh you know i decided to get a bigger bag and let's give it another go so uh, I've been doing some stuff on the electric scooters. I'm gonna show you that and my delivery setup on that here soon. Um, but that's all I've been doing for the last couple of months or so is usually Uber Eats on that. But I got the Ruckus set up again. I got a bigger delivery box bag and uh, we're good to go. So let's start at the beginning here. And let's start with the Chase Harper bags. These are pretty much specific to the Ruckus and the standard seat height but so very useful. I keep my power bank in here so I can charge my phone. I'll, I'll tell you about it. It's an anchor power bank. I've had a lot of luck with this. I'll post a link to all the stuff, obviously. Um, you can get it all on Amazon. So uh, yeah, anchor power bank, Chase Harper bags, the barrel bag on the front and the under seat bag. I mean, absolutely worth it for the ruckus. You can keep your personal items on there basically and then have your entire delivery box um, available for you know your deliveries so okay we got the bags very useful you can get this for probably just about any scooter um, and it's been very handy you can carry a good bit of stuff in there actually all right this phone mount i've told you about before i'm still using it and it's still doing really good my phone has only fallen out of it once, and that was my fault. I had it on the electric scooter, and I launched it off of a curb too hard, and I didn't have it locked in. There's a locking switch on the back, and it barely shook itself out. But otherwise, I've been through potholes and over speed bumps and everything else on the ruckus with this thing not locked with my phone in there, and I've never had a problem. It's been great. It's called Lamacall. It's on Amazon. It's around 20 bucks. It's excellent, I highly recommend it. It's the best one I've ever used. Okay, the Kemimoto cup holder. This is the bigger one. Um, I'll post a link to that as well. I've had that for a couple of years now. When it's not holding my gloves, it holds my beverages quite nicely. So uh, I would recommend having that as well, especially if you're out in a place like this where it gets very hot and you need things to drink. So yeah, okay, so. This is the 92 liter, 18 by 18 by 18. I used to have the 65 liter, and I got the 65 liter originally so I wouldn't have to take pizza deliveries or groceries or anything like that. But lately, around here anyway, that's half of what you get is pizza orders and groceries and stuff like that. So I have the ability to carry quite a bit more now. Um, this runs about a hundred bucks. It has the rack. You can mount it very easily It's got stuff that you can use to mount it or you can use your own stuff I zip tied a sock to my bar here and then zip tied The grate on in a couple of different places and it's very secure and snug it wobbles around a little bit, but it's not going anywhere uh, So yeah, that's the 92 liter bag 18 by 18 by 18 runs about a hundred bucks um, it's been great so far I haven't really used it for anything other than groceries yet but it's been fine for that better than the other one okay and it comes with four cup holder slots that velcro in here that's kind of handy but you want to use stuff like rags or a bag or something to wedge the drinks in probably if they're loose so they don't uh, slide around this looks like a doordash bag but it's not it doesn't have any logos or anything on it you get two of these on amazon for 15 bucks or 17 bucks it's a great deal they're well made i think they're much better than the doordash bags you get two of them the other one is in my uh electric scooter delivery bag 
set up. And again, I'll show you that sometime soon. So yeah, very useful because if you've got a smaller order, you can put it in there, wedge it in with things so it's not sliding all around and getting all screwed up. Uh, or if you've got something that's hot and something that's cold and you need to separate them, it makes it much easier. So definitely have an extra bag or two. It's totally worth it. Again, links in description. Okay, this is a pretty standard pizza bag. You can carry 18 inch pizzas in here, a couple of them. It's a decent bag. This runs about 20 bucks. They're all over Amazon. I'll post a link for that too. Um, you got to take a picture of that or your bag if you're doing pizza for DoorDash, of course, or they'll hassle you about it to no end. Um, and, you know, customers like to see you take their pizza out of a bag. So, you know, spend the 20 bucks. It's worth it. You'll be glad you did. Uh, what else? That's about it, really. Pretty basic. <clears throat> Everything you need, nothing you don't. You got to have your scooter, of course. Uh, it doesn't have to be a ruckus. You can ride whatever you want to ride. You can put a similar setup on just about anything. I'd be willing to bet. But uh, yeah, I mean, I wish you success in your scooter delivery ventures. If you're just getting started, this is an excellent way to do it. The only potentially better way that I know of to do food delivery is on electric scooters, and I'm going to show you that here soon. But you know for most applications this is as good as it gets if you're going to be on the road you can zip through traffic on slower roads pretty quickly um it's a really fun way to do it too i don't know how anybody's making any money with cars doing food delivery in a place like this anymore because the payouts are so low um and gas is, is expensive everything is expensive so this is a very economical way to do it this thing gets 100 miles to the gallon and uh yeah it's great it's fun i recommend it if you're gonna do food delivery try it on a scooter even if you just want to get a cheap electric scooter or something it's just it's just a better way to do it so uh yeah i hope uh you guys were able to get something out of this today uh comment down below ask any questions if you have them um, you know, let me know how you're doing with it or what you've got on your setup. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's going to be delivery videos coming and I'm going to have to go out early in the morning because it's getting hot. So, uh, yeah, that ought to be interesting. We're going to do some strip deliveries when they don't have two thirds of it shut down. Uh, so that's coming soon. So anyway, thanks guys, hope you're doing great and I'll see you again next time.